One of the big questions about Pinterest is how many pins should you put up per day? There's a lot of information out there, but in this video, we're going to talk about exactly how many pins you should put up on a daily basis. Hello everyone, I'm Sean with SEO Sourcer. This is part two of our series on Pinterest for Business. In part one, we went over how to get your profile set up. So if you missed that, you want to make sure you, you check it out. And now in part two, we're going to talk about how many pins you should create in a day. All right, let's get into it. First off, thing you want to consider is how many pins can you put up on a daily basis? Consistency is key when it comes to Pinterest. You could put up 50 in one day, but could you do that every day? You want to do something that's sustainable. You want to get at least three a day. I would say at least five, but at the very bare minimum, three. Is that something you can do every day? Then do a little more. 10 is what you should be shooting for. 10 is the minimum a number of pins. I know I already said three to five, but if you can do 10, do 10. 10 is the, what I would suggest. You want to can you make this a part of your daily process? You know, can you make 10 pins every day? You know, if you get the right systems in place, it might be hard at first, but if you keep practicing and keep getting better, eventually, you know, 10 should not be a problem. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a hack on how to get more pins per day. Whenever you're making pins, make them in batches. For instance, if you're making pins about a specific page on your website, instead of making one, make four or five. You know, you've already have, you know, everything in place. You have the link ready. How much harder is it to make four or five instead of just one? And instead of doing, you know, that really just allows you to create 40 or 50 pins in a day instead of 10. That way you only have to do it every five days or so if you're doing 10 a day. I use Canva to create pins. I'll put a link to that. There's a free and a pro version. Uh, you get a free month of the pro version if you want to take a look and see what it offers but uh, I just open I'm able to use it in Google Chrome on my, on my computer or you can use it on your app on your phone the good thing about Chrome is you can open four or five tabs of Canva and you can make four or five pins at the same time really streamlining your process you just change the background you know change the style of font boom you have a whole brand new pin remember with the recent changes to Pinterest, having fresh pens is a very key part of the process. So you want to change them enough to where each is considered a fresh pen by Pinterest. Now, when it comes to scheduling, you know, you might think schedule, posting 10 pens a day, that means you have to go on there and post 10 pens at the same time every day to be consistent. That's not the case. There are different ways you can schedule your pens. You can use the Pinterest website or the Pinterest app. It allows you to schedule in advance. I think you can schedule up to 30 pens in advance. Or if you're willing to pay for a paid solution, there's something called Tailwind. Uh, this is a this is what I use personally. I think it's $119 a year. It just lets you schedule your pens. It shows your history. So if you want to repen things, if you want to, you can do all kinds of different things with it. Tailwind is definitely something that's worth the investment if you have the extra money right now to spend on it. So that's the goal for today. You want to find out how many pens you can put up comfortably on a daily basis. If it's five, then do five every day. Try to get up to 10. Word on the streets is you don't want to go higher than 25 pens a day, but you know, that's something you could test if you want. Maybe, maybe you're niche allows you to go for 50 pins a day. But like I said, the amount of pins you can put up per day is contingent upon how many you can do on a daily basis. There's not some magic number. On our next video, we're going to talk about how to create great pins. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that one. I'm Sean with SEO Sourcer. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell.